Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading from the time you're listening to this through July. Some messages may or may not be for you. Take what fits, leave the rest. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. All right, Virgo, let's get into this. We're going to take a look at like just the general energy. If love shows up, love shows up, but I want to see what other messages it can pick up for you. Other things going on in your life could be happening going forward, June and July. And yeah, don't forget if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. Okay, you're starting off with the lovers. So, you know, I don't know, maybe spirit's like, nah, we're sticking with love, but we'll see. I definitely see some type of a partnership coming into union with someone. This could be through business contracts. This could be actual love, a love situation to people making a decision to come together into some kind of union. You could be signing something uh, with another person that just kind of like this a long, deep commitment as well. Um, let's see what other information they can give about this. So there's definitely, I will say like the overall, you're signing into something, you're agreeing to something with another person. Okay. Something, you know, either you're signing marriage certificates, you're signing for that deal or the loan or the mortgage on the house or for a car going into business together. Um, this is going to, this is like the other person is saying, yes, I'm hearing, you're saying yes, somebody else is saying yes, this is agreement, coming into agreement, okay. Um, and this is also like loyalty and responsibility as well. Okay, let me see. Well, getting a nice shuffle in at least. All right, you guys, what else does Virgo need to know? There we go. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Judgment. So someone's signing off on a judgment could be, um, somebody getting like a reconciliation situation is happening an awakening or a revealing about two people. Um, yeah, it's just like an awakening happening. This, it's such a, they're both major arcana. So you've got Scorpio, you've got Gemini, could be Virgo, it's Mercury ruled, the lovers, but, and I think judgment is, no, it's just Scorpio. So there is some kind of an awakening that's happening here or this realization, okay, that's occurring. Um, what is that noise? So I hear... Um, someone is like two people are making a decision, okay, to do something together, coming together. And this is like final, this is like a fine, there's a finale here. This is a final decision. It could be two people talking about doing something together or bringing, I'm just feeling like a coming together and this is it. Like that's what judgment is. This is like, yes, we're going to do this. Yes, we have clarity. This is a wake up call. This is what we need to do. Okay. Um, so as far as love goes, this is it. There's a decision. Two people make a decision and this is it. And yes, we're going to do this. Okay. Or this is two people waking up to, you know, in love yet. Yes, we're meant to be together. Yes, this is it for it's done. Signed, sealed and delivered. Whether in love, in business, um, in some kind of decision it's a it's final there's a final decision being made all right let's see what else is going on here wow this is crazy what does that mean for you virgo i'm gonna have to like read these comments to see if this is resonating for you you two people or you might have a decision to make somebody's waiting for you to make a decision they're waiting for you to make your final decision it gets made you both agree or vice versa okay you're waiting for someone to make a final decision. They get the clarity and it's done. Yes. And it's, it's signed, sealed and delivered. Sealed with a kiss. Okay. You've got the star. Wow. This is amazing. Um, so here we have Aquarius energy. Wow. That kind of looks like, so the female in this, the female in this situation, okay. The feminine in this situation gets a sense of renewed hope in her life. Okay. 
she gets a sense of renewed hope. The female in this situation really needed to um, pray about this or seek guidance from spirit about making some kind of decision, a final decision here. And she is renewed. She is renewed by the guidance that she receives. So I, I feel like there's definite, there's so much renewal and reconciliation happening here and final judgment and clarity. Um, and I also feel like a sense of relief as well. Now I am hearing, um, you know, the star can represent someone's getting signed either to be in a, a position of fame as well, okay? So that could be you. It could be another person that you're connecting with. But I'm definitely feeling like with the lover's judgment and the star, this is a wish that, Virgo, I feel like you've been hoping for for I don't know how long. Um, for some of you, six years, 20 years, 17 years, seven years. Some of you have been hoping for something for such a long time, wishing and hoping for something. And it's a wish wish coming true. Um, I'm just seeing like, yeah, just keep getting this vibes of there's an agreement. Somebody agrees to do something here and says yes to it. And there's a revival. There's a renewal of the spirit. There's a renewal of hope. There's inner clarity. It's like a miracle. Faith being restored. I mean, it's it's pretty amazing, Virgo, the way this reading is playing out here. Um, all right, let me say, and it's it definitely involves you and another person. Okay. Let me see. I don't even know what we're talking about. I just know I'm, you know, I was thinking today, like somebody asked me, um, well, how do you get your visions, right? And I was thinking, you know what? I don't really call them visions. They're not really visions. They're not really things I hear so much as voices. I get what I like to, I couldn't think of the word, but I, I figured it out today. I, I, I call it impressions. I receive impressions. It's like when someone puts a thumb print into like a cookie, there's like an impression left and it's, it's powerful and it's intense. So like, for example, I could get an impression of a prediction. I don't know how to explain it. Um, it's almost like if I'm meeting aliens and I have to tell you what I saw. It's almost, it's difficult to articul articulate, but I, I'm sure some of you could relate to this. I'll get impressions of, of a prediction. And they're almost like little, it's like an impression clue, I guess, to say, you know, like when you're looking at fingerprints, I don't know. But I was just thinking about that earlier today because I really never really relate to what other people say as far as like getting like these absolute visions. I get uh, just impressions. I'm going to have to look more to see if anybody knows what, what that means. Um, but I haven't found anything about that. I don't really hear voices. I don't really see things. I mean, I, I can do remote viewing, but I don't really see things, so to speak. I just get impressions. That's it. I'm leaving it there. So if anybody has, shoot me an email if you know what I'm talking about. Because um, I don't know really what it is. I don't know if there's a term. Okay. Anyway, back to your reading. I'm sorry about that. I just felt like I needed to blurt that out there. Okay. Maybe I'll cut it off. We'll see. We'll see. So yeah, there's, there's definitely something major happening here in this time period going forward for you, where I, all I can say is it's going to be a yes. So if you had a question or something you were hoping for, whatever it's in finance, business, career, love, whatever it might be, it's a yes. It's a definite yes. There's a renewal. There's a return of something. There's clarity. A final decision is being made. And there's hope. Okay. You know what we're going to do? Let's clarify a little bit more with the star card. I'm doing your reading a little bit differently. Okay. All right. So, again, with clarity. Yeah, there's definitely an, uh, an offer being made. Communication, as far as love goes, an offer being made. Um, 
a decision about partnership, a long term, um, an offer about partnership, whether it's in love or business. There's communication. A, a pen is being passed across the table where someone, you know, basically says, here, sign. Now you can sign. Yeah, there's definitely some kind of contract, long term, life contract being f being being offered and being signed. This is a victory. It's a victory coming in. Let me just see judgment here real quick. That didn't want to pop out. Okay. <laughs> wow, this is long overdue. A long overdue, well thought out decision being made to do something here. Clarity comes. I feel like the overall message here with the energy is that it, it, it could have something to do with money, investments, finances, whether or not to in invest in something. Um, and it feels like it, it does get money comes in. There is an investment that's made. Oh, yeah. Look at that. The Hierophant could be coming from a corporation, um, an investment um, from business or into business or into... Um, banking a bank of some sort there's a big reveal money comes out money is shown um uh, that i'm hearing like there's a lot there's a lot there's a well the source of funding is huge to invest in something here okay um i'm also feeling like digging up buried treasure <laughs> somebody finds one of you Virgos is going to it's going to be revealed a tremendous amount of, of money a source um, they're giving me like a um, a gushing gushing oil for some of you or a source of clean energy tapping into an untapped reservoir uh, do you know what I mean somewhere under your feet or it's revealed to you um, and I'm going to say this, and this is really, really strange, but if we're going to X marks the spot to an untapped source of uh, wealth, I, I'm going to tell you that there's some kind of connection to a graveyard for you. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means but there's a somewhere near a graveyard or mate please don't go digging up graveyards <laughs> but somewhere near a graveyard there's an untapped source of wealth um I, it could be in a graveyard i don't know for sure they're just all of a sudden impressioned that on me okay where there's a church there's a church and there's a graveyard attached to a church or near a church it's not just a standalone graveyard Okay, um, you know how sometimes they just have those graveyards and there's like no churches or anything connected to it. It's just a plot of land. It's not that. This place has like a church of some sort on it. Okay. Somebody's buried some money or there's something near there or, or in there that... I don't know, Virgo. That's a weird message. I know some of Virgos could be out with their magnifying glasses, like, let me at it. Let me at it. Where is it? <laughs> I don't know who that's for, but it might be a spiritual message that someone is trying to tell you also. Is it? That uh, I've got hidden, I've got a hidden wealth somewhere. Okay. We're going to leave that there. That's weird. Just, it's very Halloween-ish, but show me what this star is here. This, this, these messages are kind of bizarre because I started off with one, but now I'm really kind of like getting into the sub messages here. That star too, it does feel like your health as well. So, you know, let, we're going to split this. Yeah, we're going to split this. Okay, this star message does feel like your health. And there's you, King of Pentacles. Let me see here. Oh, wow. Okay. So, as far as your health goes, Virgo, I do feel like you need to get some rest. You need to, like, get sleep. You need to recharge your batteries. You need to get into meditation. You need to pray. 
some of you need to visit a graveyard to um you need to visit some spirits or you might get some visit from spirits from someone who's passed on as well somehow that's attached to your health or that will be good to your good for your health it could be attached to your health though um i feel like an angel maybe coming from um to visit you um someone who's passed away they have a concern about your health and they may be coming to you in your dreams or visiting you and that's if you've already had that experience they're trying to tell you um take better care of yourself okay but i also feel like um some of you are just yeah you're working too hard you're not getting enough rest and this is going to be affecting your health going forward okay you're really like and listen i don't blame you the world is crazy and everybody's just trying to make money and save money and stash it away like squirrels stash their nuts away but i, <laughs> I feel like virgo yeah you, you got to get some rest honey seriously because you need to renew your spirit um because you're gonna burn out and drop out if you don't i feel like that's a really strong message for your health okay i'm not seeing anything here like you know and i wouldn't anyway predict any major illnesses or anything but i do feel like um you need to take better care of yourself so it really it's just your sleep your sleep is everything your rest your R and R, even if it's just taking power naps, you have to do that because that's like your sleep is everything. That's all I can say. Like when you go into like even a deep sleep, your body, your brain actually pulls everything out of your brain and then it flushes your brain with new um, fluid. It it washes. You get like a brainwash. That's where that comes from. And when you don't have that, there's there, it's like a refresher. When you don't have that. Uh, you don't get enough sleep. You don't instigate that moment and you suffer. I know that's a strange message, but there's some kind of a brainwashing. You're not getting enough brainwashing. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. So as far as love, here we go. Okay. You're definitely going to be getting an offer coming in from um, someone definitely taking the lead in this. Okay. And I do feel like you both make a decision to come together. It could be an Aries as well, but this person does show up in the emperor energy respectful taking a lead strategic uh planning a father figure type someone who is um you know they're they're head of household so to speak this is someone who is they really take on definitely um a gendered role position as far as being very masculine they have a very masculine way even if they're feminine they're very masculine and I don't know Virgo I just kind of feel like you sign something with this person you agree to um you agree to an offer that they make okay because they will be making an offer here right now starting now in through July tell me a little bit more about this emperor okay wow double Aries energy here as well could be Scorpio I mean this person is gonna commit it's gonna be really shocking this offer that gets made um, I feel like with this tower this is kind of like um, rebuilding but it is going to be shocking. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't feel like you're going to be, you're going to be expecting this, this love and, and signing something with this person or signing some kind of contract or going into agreement or uh, committing to something with them. I don't, I, I feel, I don't know why are you going to be shocked by this person? Okay. Five of swords. Hmm. Um. because they mean business um virgo i don't know why that would shock you but i'm telling you and it really doesn't matter i'm telling you that this this person i, I feel like you're going to be shocked because they're serious because they mean business they're not playing around um they really want you to sign something and do you feel like they're going to hand you the pen they really like could maybe it's prenuptials i don't know it's some kind of offer they're making um, that you guys are going to, you know, if you agree, which I feel like you will, this might be something you want, 
Um, but it's just going to come out of the blue. I mean, this person is serious about this. So whether this is marriage, you're moving in together, buying a home together, starting a business together, um, could be coming from your boss. It could be coming from someone who's way older than you. That is just a bizarre, like you never thought this person would ever remarry or get married again or would want to. Um, it comes from someone who is in a, an extremely high position that you're not even really a part of. And I feel like it just comes as a shock. It's unexpected because they're really serious about this. I just want to get one more for that. Okay. Wow. Hmm. Okay. For some of you, this person is just simply going to hand you a shit ton of money as well. They're going to support you for something. They're going to give you money. And they're going to sign whatever needs to be signed. Um, some of you, this is a gift. Okay. This person, it could be, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be coming from a father or a father figure. Remember I said this person can show up as like a father figure. This person like, you know, all you have to do is sign the paper and it's yours. You're set. You're set for life with this. Okay. Give me a call, Virgo, after this happens. They just said to me, Libra, out of nowhere. I just heard Libra right when I said that. Okay, so that must be for somebody, some kind of connection to Libra. All right, let's take a look and see what this little graveyard thing is, this money thing. Oh, wow. I am telling you, listen to me, Virgo. There's an investigation of some sort. <laughs> that I feel like you might be attached to or find out about as far as this tapping into this wealth source. Somebody's looking. Somebody is looking. This is prying eyes. This is seeking information. Um, now that could be you, Virgo. I feel like you need to start looking. You need to start investigating. I don't know what it, what the hell this means, but it's something to do with like, I don't know, finding oil or finding some buried treasure or some wills about someone who's passed away, questioning whether there was money left for you or an inheritance of some sort. Yes. So it may not be buried treasure at a graveyard as well. It could be somebody that's buried. You may need to go into a church to get information to see if there's any paperwork where that person is buried. Like if they're attached to that and start like some kind of an investigation process. There's money for you. There's a ton of money for you. Start looking. Oh my gosh, the Ace of Wands. Here you go. All right, and it's attached to a queen of cups. So it's a maybe a mom or an aunt, a female. There's a female. There's money. She's left money for you somewhere, and it wasn't, it wasn't found. You might know about it, or you might know that there's some fine, there's like something, or maybe you have a hunch, or maybe you've been wondering. Start looking, I'm telling you. Um, I'm also hearing... Okay, that's a strange message. Somewhere out by where there's a garden, or if she planted a tree, it's under the tree also. Because we are talking about burials, buried things. Um, a tree by the house or a tree behind some kind of building. I swear, if any of you leave in my comments, I know exactly what this is. I'm going to freak out. I will freak out about this because she's left something buried. Look even how she's got the lid on this here. Um, she never told anyone. It's a kind of a secret. <clears throat> and it's specifically for you. You know, maybe it's your mother. Maybe it's a grandmother or a great-grandmother or an aunt or a friend or something like that. It will be like... You're meant to find this. She's trying to reveal it to you at this time. Okay? 
um, and she's saying it's somewhere somewhere where um, it's somewhere in the ground where there's like new growth so either there's like a tree planted or she planted something it's near there okay one more card for her one more card one more message for her Oh, okay. All right, now there's two women. Two, a queen of cups and a queen of wands. Okay, for some of you, it's it's on a property that's been sold to a queen of wands. You need to go talk to her. That's the message I'm getting. Go talk to her about a tree or... Um, I don't know. You need to go talk to her. She might know something about it. She might be the new owner of this piece of property. Or maybe she's related to this Queen of Cups. Like they could be sisters. Or they could, could be a, a daughter of the Queen of Cups. She knows something. She knows where this property is. you got to get a hold of her. That's what I'm feeling. Weird message. Really weird. But I'm telling you. There's like there's a gold mine it could be just papers she might have something in her basement um that's left that you didn't know about <laughs> there's information there's papers there's some your name is written on something that that you maybe you signed or someone signed for you a long time ago and it's yours you own it it's yours all right, let's take a look. What's going on more with your health? Okay. You have the three of wands. You have the high priestess. Okay. And you have the six of cups. All right. You've got a friend that's really thinking about you at this time you've got a friend from far off whether that's time distance you've got a friend who wants to see you or uh, that you might be thinking about and you you need to go see them like on some kind of r and r some kind of vacation of some sort you need to go see this friend for your better health i don't even know what that means for some downtime if they live far away or if you're thinking of traveling or if you're thinking of uh, planning a trip yes see all those boats there maybe they're across the water uh, you might be waiting or planning for a trip or waiting for the date to come it could be on a boat you go to see this person or you know just maybe you fly out there i definitely seeing some type of reunion or reconciliation with someone from your past. Um, it could be with a Virgo Taurus or Capricorn as well. But this might be someone that has been, for some of you, it could have been like a secret or someone that you just haven't spoken to in a very long time. Now they might be coming to you. They might be thinking of you or planning to come see you but this is connected to not just your physical health your mental your spiritual your emotional healing it's a very healing thing whoever this person is them wanting that reconciliation with you secretly keeping it hush hush you wanting that with them um i do feel like there is some kind of plan in the in the works here that's going to be, for some of you, like I said, this might be a wish of something that you've wanted to happen or wanting to come true or wishing you could reconnect with someone or them wishing it's going to happen in July. That's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, Knight of Wands. So there is going to be a trip, definitely. Um, <laughs> this can be a very lusty energy as well, but there is going to be a trip made from this point now into July that's going to bring you absolute joy and happiness and a feeling of refreshing to see this person 
It, it, this is a miracle happening as far as like your health goes. So what do I mean? It doesn't necessarily mean physical. I mean, yeah, do you feel like you need to get some sleep? You might be working yourself to the bone. You need that brainwash, but you also, this could have your, um, affect your emotional health, your, your spiritual health, your physical. This is very, very necessary. I feel like for you, um, if you're going to reconnect with someone, it will be very healing for you. And if you receive someone who's trying to connect, reconnect with you, it will be very healing for both of you. But especially for you, because this is who this reading's about. Let me see. Okay, you do have family celebrations, wedding, and engagement party happening during this uh, June through July. The end of June into July. Let's see. So you might be attending some type of an event, reconnecting with family. Maybe you're going to a wedding. Um, you may you may be hoping to be engaged or to receive a proposal. I feel like here, endure and be patient. It's coming. That's a really strong message for you, Virgo, because you might be getting impatient. Some of you I know are just like, nah, I'm good. It's good. <laughs> but I know there's others who are, maybe you've been di uh, di dieting, maybe you've been dating someone. You're just wondering when you guys are going to actually progress to an, be, be patient. It's coming. Okay. Financial loss that showed up in the reverse pretty much. So like I said, even if you have some financial losses at this time in your life, Virgo, I'm telling you, go start digging up them bones. Cause there's something, Sony's got something hidden for you with your signature, your name, or that you just have to go and sign that it's yours and it's valuable. It's money, it's assets, material things, material wealth, something amazing you've got this devil card in the reverse. So awesome. <laughs> That's great. Um, basically, this is, how can I say this? This is like recovering. Um, this is healing from something toxic as well. Some of you might be in recovery from something. Um, or you might decide to get clean from something. And, you know, maybe you're just going to start eating clean. Whatever it is. There's, a, there's definitely breaking some toxic cycles or some toxic behaviors as well. So that's positive for you. Okay, some of you will get an opportunity to reevaluate your career as well. Uh, maybe because you're going to be coming into some money, you're going to have an, ooh, an opportunity to look at the whole situation differently than you've ever seen it before, right? Um, I don't know, you get kind of a light bulb moment because I feel like you might be in a career situation that there's really just no other way to see it. It, there's no, it can't get any better if you're, if it's, if it sucks, the only way for it to get better is for you to leave. But I see something comes to you. You have an aha moment. There's a slight change in your view about a career situation that you're in, um, that will make it more sustainable. I don't know what that means. Okay. So reevaluating your career doesn't really mean reestablishing a new career. Um, this is kind of like taking the career that you have or the job that you do and improving upon it or changing your role in it or finding a way to change your role in your career, change the value of the career, right? So you're kind of like reevaluating, looking to see, is this really what you want to do? Is this enough money? Um, are you kind of like, how can I make it better? How can I make improvements in this career that I'm in? Okay. So it's very positive. I don't see you leaving your career, but I do see coming into a lot of money. Um, so that might spur you on whether or not you want to invest the money that you get into this career to expand it, or is it just fine where it is and put your money elsewhere? So you do get that opportunity or just retire altogether and live off the fat of the land. <laughs> Okay, so you definitely got a committed love relationship coming in as well during this time. Okay, somebody's committing to you, definitely. And you're not going to have to wait for an answer anymore. It's coming. And that's what you're seeing over here as far as love goes. You, and very, you got a lot of like, amazing <laughs> stuff going on in the month of July. So, I mean, these are all pretty powerful messages. And I don't feel like 
there's anything here that is like it covers every area for you I mean it looks good and I feel like hold on a minute now I just want to tell you guys July 23rd so um right now we are in the pre shadow of Venus retrograde and then it goes direct I believe or it's in actual no it doesn't go direct it's in actual hmm I believe July 23rd is when it's an actual full-on retrograde, right? Because that pre-shadow period lasts for like a little bit of time. I think it's like a month or three weeks to a month or something like that. So that Venus retrograde pre-shadow is when things begin kind of pulling away. And then we start reevaluating love relationships and our connections. And sometimes people from the past also return. Um, more so during the Venus retrogrades than during the Mercury's. The Mercury retrograde just tends to make communication difficult because Mercury is about communication, whether it's virtual or face-to-face -face or what have you, or technical issues, okay? Um, a lot of people do say, oh, you know, Mercury retrograde, my people came back. That's not generally, unless there was a retro Mercury retrograde during a Venus, from my experience, um, Mercury retrograde really just is kind of like glitches and losing things and uh, a lot of Virgos tend to feel like kind of sideways you know um, when Mercury retrograde happens but the Venus retrograde is when people start kind of coming back into your life because Venus represents love and relationships so you're in the pre-shadow phase right now so you might start beginning to get some strange things starting to happen that might just be like huh that's really odd and if it's just one okay that's fine but then when it starts to be now there's a second and now you're going to start seeing people that you knew before that you have been disconnected from for a really long time and they're going to these are going to be people that are just going to show up out of the blue and sometimes they are the people that you have on your mind you might be drawing them in um but for most most of you this is going to start happening now okay so that's what i'm saying like you've got like either um someone that you might be connected to or related to is coming back there's this family connection here um where like there might be a uh, an aunt or a mother or a sister or someone that's left some kind of money or something of value for you okay um that's that person coming back you might even have a return of someone like a father figure or um someone who you were um maybe married to okay that that or someone that you had a child with coming in who's very serious and wants to you know actually maybe you might be with the mother or father of your child right now but you're not really committed this person like there's a commitment coming in here and so you got someone from your past returning um like a friend as well or it could be a sibling they haven't seen in a while um or just another other person from your past it's going to be maybe they've been gone this there's a reconnection so a lot of this venus retrograde it will have a lot of people from the past coming back but they're attached in different ways they have different different gifts and different offers and things that they're coming forward with so it should be really interesting you might have already be feeling this now I know some people who have already been telling me that this energy is weird and strange things have been happening um, and I can even account for three certain instances myself that this is already starting to occur so I'm gonna leave that there I'm really not gonna well actually I'm not no I just they just said get a couple more messages and then I'm just gonna do some charms here oh okay well this just fell out this charm so this is a horse wow just like that just out of the blue like that there you go a stallion some kind of connection to a horse Things are going to start moving pretty quickly. Very powerful momentum coming up here for you in this time period. Maybe you own a horse. Maybe you've got some kind of connection to horses. Or you just love horses. Maybe you'll be riding horses. Maybe your person is born the year of the horse. Or there's someone pretty important to you who was born in the year of the horse. Maybe you are. Okay. 
Let me just get a couple of names and see what the other messages are here. I'm going to keep these really short and sweet and simple. All right. Yep, you've got transformation. Uh, initials, uh, there's an initial C. A significant life experience that requires changes to be made. Powerful and often unexpected revelation. That's what I'm saying. Breaking free of procrastination, releasing old belief systems. So either you, your name, you've got a C in your name, or there is another person who's showing up. Did I just hear the name Chandler? Wait, are we in Friends? <laughs> Chandler? Ross? Rachel, what's going on? I, I did though. I, 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 there was a name Chandler. I was impressed with a Chandler. Um, okay. All right. You've also got the initial P. Okay. Logical, perceptive, insightful, blunt. An exciting intellectual challenge is coming. Beautiful insights, brilliant insights, information that you need but might be challenging to receive. Review all documents very carefully. So Virgo, yes, I'm telling you, I keep saying it. I just, I saw somebody kind of like sliding the pen across the table and be like, sign. So you're signing it. You're getting something, Virgo. Okay. But what other name or initial does Virgo need here? Okay. We've got a J, a happy marriage, happily ever after, emotional contentment, a loving relationship with your children, raising children wisely and successfully, and being around people you can trust. This is pretty amazing. All right, so the initials, we have a C, we have a P, we have a J, and we have an O. Okay, pretty amazing. Capricorn, Leo, Scorpio, and Virgo. Okay. We have someone born in 1981. We have the number 708. We have 59. We have 109 and the number 2. I'm also hearing the 28th. Okay, 2014, significant year. We have 920, 1218, and 41. Okay, September and August Virgo birthdays. Okay, August 28th, there you go, 24th, 23rd, August 29th, September 11th, September 4th, September 20th. Um, September 23rd? I don't think that's Virgo. I think that's Libra. Um, September 2nd. September 9th. September 18th. And also the numbers 4040, 4040, and 110. Okay. And then 2368. Okay. Crazy, you guys. Crazy. Oh, wait. Do you want your Chinese signs? I'm doing everything backwards today. Let's just do your Chinese signs real quick. Show Virgo. Virgo's Chinese sign. Because we have too many people in here to pick one person. So, show Virgo's Chinese sign. Okay. Virgo, year of the monkey. Year of the horse. There you go. That just would mean it's your reading. Year of the dog, year of the dragon, year of the ox, year of the goat, year of the horse again, and year of the rabbit and the rooster. Wow, pretty amazing, Virgo. Um, I think that's it. Awesome. So I'm going to leave your reading there. I hope you enjoyed that little shift and change. Thought it would be fun to try to tap into the different energies. I think I might make this go this way. Um, maybe Mondays I'll just do a complete love thing. Sunday do singles. And then the rest of the week try to tap into finances, health, 
a uh, little bit of love and all that see what's coming up for you so yeah i hope you guys have a great night hope you enjoyed this reading make good choices be happy i love you and i will see you tomorrow My heart